Okay, in this video we're going to look at a related rates problem uh, related to baseball. So, the distance between home plate and first base on a baseball diamond, if you're not familiar, is 90 feet. Um, that's actually the distance from all the bases, uh, from one base to the next. So there's home, first base, second base, everybody, I think probably most people are familiar with a baseball diamond. Um, so each one of these lengths are 90 feet. Um, and so a runner is running towards first base at a rate of 20 feet per second. So here's my little person uh, running towards first base. We want to know what's the rate of change in the distance between the runner and second base at the instant when the runner is 75 feet away from first base. So the way I'm going to set this up is I'm going to say, well, I'm going to suppose that this person has already ran, you know, sort of X units generically. Again, this distance is going to change as, you know, time progresses. Well, we know his rate of change, dx dt. So dx dt is going to equal uh, 20 feet per second. And what we're trying to find is, so we're thinking about the distance between the, the baseball player and second base. So again, that distance is also going to change as time progresses. So I'm going to label that maybe with a z, um, just some other variable. So notice we're kind of getting a, a nice little right triangle here. And our right triangle, if you think about it, um, so here's our z, make a slightly uh, bigger picture. OK, so we're labeling this length as z. Um, he's already run x units this way, so if you think about it, really, since it's the, the total length is 90 feet, that means the remaining distance would be, well, 90 minus x. It's going to be whatever, you know, whatever's left over. So we're given dx dt. We're trying to find the rate and change between the person and second base. So we want to know, we want to know the value for dz dt. And we want to do that when, well, let's see, when he was uh, 75, to 75 feet away from first base. So I guess if he's 75 feet away from first base, he's only ran 15 feet. So we would do that when x equals 15. Okay, uh, notice this side of our triangle is going to correspond to, you know, the distance between first and second. And that wouldn't change in, you know, in this problem. That's going to stay 90 feet because, again, he's only running from home to first, uh, first base. So, all right, I think we've got, uh, we've got a nice little diagram. We've labeled our rates. Now we need to produce an equation. But I think here we can just use Pythagorean theorem. We could say, well, 90 minus x squared plus 90 squared, that would equal z squared. And now we're going to take the derivative here with respect to time. So when we take the derivative, uh, our 2 would come out front. We would leave the inside alone. We would uh, have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, so that would give us negative 1. And again, we have to use implicit differentiation, so uh, negative 1 times dx dt. So the derivative of 90 squared, that's just 0. It's a constant. And the derivative of z squared will be 2z dz dt. Alright, so I think we've got, we can plug in a lot of stuff here. We know that dx dt at that instant is going to equal, um, so let's see, we said, excuse me, so I'm pointing at x, but I'm pointing at dx dt. So we know that x is going to equal 15, so we can say, well, 90 minus 15. And then we would have negative 1 times dx dt, which is going to be 20. And then we have 2, okay, well, now I need a value to plug in here for z, but, well, you know, at first glance, we don't have anything for z. Um, so, well, we can, I think, figure that out, though. So we've almost got everything we need. Uh, notice we could divide both sides simply by 2z, and that would give us dz dt equals, uh, you know, this expression here on the left. But again, at that instance, um, you know, when x equals 15, again, we can just think about our triangle here. Okay, so we know that, you know, this length stays 90. We know that x equals 15, so this length is going to be 75. And again, we can just use Pythagorean theorem to figure out a value for z. So 
so let's see, I guess, so we would have z squared equals 90 squared plus 75 squared, or z would be the positive square root of 90 squared plus 75 squared. And now that's just what I'm going to plug into our expression, and then we can just do a little bit of uh, arithmetic to simplify it down. So notice we can cancel out the 2's immediately. So 90 minus 15, again that's just 75. We're multiplying by negative 20. And all of this is divided by, again, 90 squared plus 75 squared. That's going to be the rate and change between the runner and second base. So now I'm just going to plug all this stuff into a calculator. So let's see, negative 20 times 75. Um, I'm getting 1500, zero, zero, negative 1500. And then in the denominator, let's see, we would have the square root. So 90 squared is 8100. Um, 75 squared is 5625. And again, I think we can just keep simplifying this a little bit more. So 8100 plus 5625, that's a 13,725. I'm just going to go ahead and take the square root of that. So I'm getting roughly 117.15. So if you haven't seen the little curvy equal sign, just means now we're kind of approximating. So if we do 1500, negative 1500 that is, by 117.15, uh, I'm getting that dz over dt is roughly going to equal negative 12.80. And again, since we're talking about just a distance here, um, I think all the units were in seconds, right? That would make sense. So it says the rate is going to equal negative 12.80 feet per second. And again, it makes sense that this is negative because as the as the person runs from first base, excuse me, from home plate towards first base, the distance between the runner and second base is actually decreasing at that time, right? As you know, so when you're at home, you're kind of the furthest away you would be from second base, and by the time you get over to uh, first base, you're certainly closer to it. So that's all the negative indicates is that the person is in fact getting closer to second base.